a popular concern that comes up when we're introducing the idea of autonomous vehicles to citizens is they want to know how autonomous vehicles will react in different situations. So there's no programmer saying, okay, car, if you see a small girl to the left and an elderly man to the right, kill the elderly man because of utilitarian ethics. So instead, what we're seeing is deep learning neural networks. Deep learning is the one that is, is the most powerful and talked about right now because it's what's, it's what's used in autonomous vehicles, it's what's used by Google and Facebook for a lot of their ads, that kind of thing. But what makes it somewhat unique from other types of classifiers is it's not transparent. So we don't actually, we can't actually go in and see why a vehicle did what it did. Let's take the Uber case in Phoenix recently. So Uber did a full investigation of that death and they were able to learn a lot, but it could not actually go in and see why did the car make the exact decision it made when. So Ford's autonomous vehicle and Google's autonomous vehicle could be in the same exact situation and do something slightly different. The way that these uh, deep learning networks learn is that a car driven by a human drives around the world and collects lots of data of what it sees. A group of humans sit down and label all of the images. They draw a box around a person or you know, if there's a chair, they draw a box around a chair. And then all of that labeled information is then passed to this learning algorithm which trains on that data. As we take these algorithms and put them inside of a self-driving car, it now has to make a guess of what it sees in the world. The way that it does that is it takes all of this image information and then with each portion of that image, it decides with some probability that something exists inside of that image. So now we as engineers set a threshold so that we say, well, anything higher than this probability corresponds to an object. To the best of our understanding, in the fatal Uber accident, they selected this threshold aggressively, and as a result, they saw a portion of space where a person was as actually being empty, and it created this terrible accident. And so we as engineers at the university need to think hard about how we verify this data and how to do it in an ethical way. Okay.